Yeah, I think that's why we were not good. Why do you think that was the case? It's kind of like a kindergarten teacher, I feel like. <laughs> like a babysitter, maybe. I'm, I can't be just be a follower. I need to lead sometime. Do you feel like, oh, I'm better than this? Or it's uh, media day and I'm joined by IMT Ole. Ole, last split, um, we heard that IMT were doing really well in scrims, but couldn't get the wins on stage. Why do you think that was the case? Um, I, I think in scrim, we were a bit relying on individual skills more than team play. So it's like every lane was winning, but so when it comes to team play, like a uh, objective fight or like actual team fight around mid, we kind of like mess it up on stage. So yeah, I think that's why we were not good as a team on stage. And how do you think you fix that? Is that on the players, on the coaching staff? Um, I, I think in spring, we were kind of like focusing on individual uh, players more than team play. But I think in summer, like we've been screaming for uh, kind of like two weeks, but we're focusing on our team play more than individual one. So. I think it's, it's, it was about the direction, uh, like how you want to build the team. So I think it changed. It's, it's really different from the spring now. All right. Oh, yeah, you had a, a change in roster, um, not in the actual roster, but in the coaching staff. I just wanted to get your thoughts on how important is a coaching staff? You see teams like NRG, Team Liquid, Fly, huge coaching staff. You guys have a smaller coaching staff. Um, what do you consider the importance of a coaching staff? Mm, I, I think it's kind of, it's so, uh, how to say, let's say now, current uh, League of Legends now, it's like everyone has a great mechanic. It's like, you know, if you're a pro level, you're not going to like lose lane hard. It's like on stage, that's not going to happen much. But it's like, first, as a pro, you need to, make up your level to be okay against whoever players. But the, the real like pro team has to deal with the like how you're gonna build a team, how you're gonna shackle together, how you're gonna do objective together as a team. I think that's all matters. So I think coaching steps is a uh, sometime coaching steps should be how to say counselor? I don't mm -hmm. know how to explain. It's like you need to help like your teammates to build a relationship and like teach them how to communicate. It's just like, it's kind of like a kindergarten teacher, I feel like. <laughs> like a babysitter maybe. Yes, because League of Legends players sometimes really awkwardly, you know, have a weird conversation skill. So, I mean, like, same for me. It's like, I've been here, like, since 2017. I usually talk about League of Legends. So, I, you know, my social conversation level is not, you know, great as uh, other people. So, my, you know, my speaking English is just like a kindergarten level. So, no, no, it's a lot, it's a lot better than kindergarten. But, uh, you know, in Korean, they do a lot of abbreviations, like uh, subak for Starbucks, you know, yorkong hada, yorshimi kumbo hada. Uh, Cody Sun said that you do that a lot in English as well. And yeah. on IMT in 2017, when you had uh, Josh Dardock as your jungler, you made yeah. FJ follow Josh. Yeah. And then Xmithy yeah. joined, and you're like still using FJ because his name is Jake. Yeah. Now you're playing with Armeo, and he's, his name yeah. is Jonathan. Are you still using um, FJ? I mean, like, I don't say it much. <laughs> now I, like, I. It's not like a. John is not the, like, try to lead the game style. So it's like, Dardock and XMC was the, you know, leader leadership type. So it's like, my job was just following. But I think here with John, it's, it's like, sometimes it's, it's, I can't be just be a follower. I need to lead sometime. So, yeah, FJ, I haven't used FJ much in our team. Do you use other abbreviations? <laughs> I'll be like, no, I usually say, because I go in first, I say, do something going first. 
because I always throw my body to make something happen. All right. And uh, so, so are you the leader on this team then? I mean, it's like in team fight, usually I make a shackle to fight. So also I'm the oldest guy. So should be to take some leadership job. You also are the only one that speaks English and Korean, which makes it easier for you to lead the English side and the Korean side and make sure everyone's on the same page. Yeah, I, I think also the cultural difference a bit because my two Koreans are new to LA. So it's like they are trying to, you know, adapt LA. And then now John and Eddie try to, you know, understand the Koreans. So I'm just there for them. All right. La last time we talked uh, before the spring split, you mentioned how the military humbled you and you kept your ego in check. Do you still yeah. feel that way? Even though, you know, you're an LCS champion, you've been to Worlds, MSI, you're rank one in Korean solo queue, but you finished in last place. Do you feel like, oh, I'm better than this? Or, you know, does that irk you the wrong way? Mm, I think, at, like, still, I believe that individually I, I'm better like then you know whoever support play against but the thing is your what is that competitive rank is not by your individual skill it's about like are you are you a good teammate that's whole question so it's like my individual skill so it's like if some if there's a god like let's say this is a game and then you play league of legends fantasy or something and then when you check the list on all it's like oh mechanic a something a something a and the teamwork can be like b you know so i think competitive stage one is like i really need to up, like level up my teamwork more than individual one so i think my individual one i always believe that it's the best but the teamwork part i'm not good at it so yeah i need to make it up now but when you start focusing on teamwork and making your teamwork an A, doesn't your individual go down? We've seen a lot of players like that. They focus more on team play and then their individual play goes down. I, I think that's the what I what I have to deal with because in solo queue it's like if I'm better than enemy support that I'm gonna get the game and I'm gonna win the game. But on stage, even though I get their enemy support, it doesn't do anything. I need to get the team by shackling make a team better team decision it's not about like i hook them better all right um my last question to you is more about you've been in lcs for a long time even though like you took the break uh do you still hang out with any of the players from the old mortals or team liquid like do you hang out discuss league of legends with impact for example or other players um i think as a personality wise i you know i'm like I'm really lazy to like ask people out. Also, like I'm not the guy who will go out first. So it's like you know I'm MBTI I, you know the, the <laughs> I'm, I'm a in internal guy. Um, it's like I'm not outgoing guy. So it's like usually people think that I'm the outgoing guy, but I'm not. I usually stay in home and they just like play video game or reading books. I'm the just chill guy, but. If I think Jake is outgoing guy, so he asked me to go out, then I'll be like, okay, follow Jake, and I go out. So I went to the his birthday party like last month. Yeah, I, I met Double Lift. was there. Hui was there. Honcho was there. Like there, like fifteen people. Ah, Apun was was there too. <laughs> so we just like talking. But it's like. I need to get picked up by the outgoing guy asked me to come there. I'll be like, okay, why not? Let's go. But I'm not the guy who asked who make a group and they're like, hey guys, let's party together. Like I, I never done it. So. Yeah, I know. I, I, I feel the same way. I'm the same way, but, uh, all right. My time is up. Thank you very much for the interview. You always give really good interviews and, uh, hopefully you guys do well. Okay. Thank you. All right. Okay. Bye. Interview one out of eight today and the first day of media day on a Wednesday done. Uh, I have a total, I think, 12 interviews that will be coming out. Um, this is not going to be the first one that I publish. I, at least I don't think so. It was a really cool, um, you know, interview. I am trying a new type of intro. I might try a new type of outro. I'm trying different things. There, There's going to be subtitles and 
uh, like uh, captions actually, not subtitles. And uh, what are those things called? Timestamps. Timestamps on most of these, hopefully all of them. Um, yeah, give me some feedback on how you like this. Because if you guys like this, I know this is like in the phase where I can experiment. If you guys like this, then I can take this to the LCS and do more of like LCS interviews this way. If not, I can go back to the old old way. So make sure to, you know, just comment. Let me know how you liked specifically the things that I changed or maybe even like questions, my demeanor, whatever it is that you have feedback. I always love hearing feedback. I always love talking, discussing. Uh, if you want to hit me up on Twitter, I've talked to a bunch of people. Um, sometimes great ideas. Sometimes I disagree. So it's, it's all cool. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching and hit that subscribe button. I don't know why you guys aren't. 95% of my viewers are not subscribed. Come on, guys.